Hello you beautiful peeps, my name's John, welcome to my channel. Today we have the Zedu Racing EX16, which is a 1 16th scale, I have to say, drift car. Although the tyres aren't, well, maybe the tyres are a bit drifty. Uh, as you can see, this is a 1 7th scale, EX07, EX16, and there is a slight difference, but there's also a very big difference in price. This one actually comes in at 185, that I thought was 185 US dollars, that I thought was actually a little bit expensive, but it is pretty good when it comes to the specs. Brushless motor, metal chassis, etc., etc. But of course it comes down to how it performs. Now we were gonna drive up here on the roof, um, but we've decided to try and find a slightly better place to, to uh, run it for the first time. So let me show you a few pictures, a few close-ups, and uh, give you some specs. Okay, it's officially a brushless touring car. The differences between the EX1601 and 02 is that the 01 has a separate ESC and separate receiver where the 02 has a joint. It's got a 2435 brushless motor, 40 kilometers an hour top speed, and a 2.2 kilogram servo. Uh, 7.4 volts, 1,500 milliamp hour LiPo battery with a charging time of around two hours, driving time of around 20 minutes minutes. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz four channel transmitter which means that two of the channels are controlling the LED lights and a transmission distance of around 80 to 100 meters. Now the car size is 320 millimeters long, 134 millimeters wide and 98 millimeters high with a wheelbase is around 175 millimeters and the weight is 700 grams. Okay, just to add on top as well, in the box you've got the sticker sheet. I put some stickers on, I decided where I wanted to put them this time. Uh, instruction booklet for the controller and the instruction booklet for the actual car. Charger here, an IMAX B3 charger. The battery is a, a 1500 milliamp 15C 2S. And the controller is the bog standard usual ZD Racing.
happened here? We've lost a wheel. <laughs> Car. <laughs> How did that happen? Um, okay. Oh, they're all coming off. So, ladies and gents, what did you think of that footage? I thought it looked pretty good, but I may be a little bit biased. Um, I have to say it's handling a lot better than I expected it to. The 186 US dollars was a concern for me at the start, but now that I've driven and I've had a look at the details of the car, I have to say that it's well worth it. Um, it does remind me of the TC10, which is the larger version of this. So that's, again, something that you may consider if you didn't want something that's just pure purely drifting if you wanted something that was more tarmac I'd go for the TC10 but if you're into drifting this does it very well indeed I would suggest picking up the little gyro for four US dollars because that will just make it handle a little bit better the attention to detail on the car if I can get into it <coughs> really there we go is very good indeed they they've made it look and feel like quality it's not too heavy either but there's enough weight to it so it's not just bouncing stupidly over all the bumps um, it's not to be used for jumping definitely not but it, it does drift incredibly well you saw that even on the rougher uh, road that we were on there it was working very well you've already seen the footage to uh, when we were driving on the roof at home I haven't yet because we're going home to do that now because unfortunately the wheel nut came off so we can't do any more driving today but I should imagine that on the roof being a little bit more slippery it should just be more fun so I can recommend this car to those that love drifting without a shadow of a doubt. Don't forget, you can always drive it inside your house as well. It's small enough, it's got the bumper on it. So you, in the winter months, you're gonna be able to drive it around. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to driving this one inside as well. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that there's a link in the description below that also includes a money off code. So make sure you use that as well. Check out this video here for my other drift video. And I'll catch you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.